we are a forgotten community. And it's sad because when I came back in this community, I couldn't believe the way this community looked. We have trouble with landlords also at the same time that don't want to keep their property up. This is causing people to move out of the property because our population was at one time over 2,000. Now our population is like 1,200 and something. I will knock on doors to try to assist somebody to help them with something to keep from them getting a litter ticket. Sometimes I get cooperation, but the majority of the time I don't. I think the people here deserve a change. I think they're, they're really good people here. I don't think this neighborhood deserves to be looked over as it has been. Never been in a neighborhood where I've actually had to really get involved or where it needed, you know, a helping hand. It would be nice to have a cafe or, you know, a restaurant or something. Um, it's kind of a food desert here. You know, it, sometimes I don't always want to get in my car and drive. I'd rather just walk up the street. It's called Jesse's, but the owner is Harry Turnage, Harry and Gloria Turnage which Miss Gloria just passed away. But uh, he's been a fixture in this community. You know, we have little kids coming in buying penny candy and stuff like that. You only have two stores. You got this store and you got the New York Market, which is a couple blocks away. I'd like to see a little more development and maybe some businesses come back to the area. St. Leo's is more of a staple in the community. It helps out a lot of families. We do have, um, I think about 5% of our neighborhood is foreign-born citizens, and that's also a goal for us as the council to integrate more of their interests and, and how they feel into, you know, the community. For me, it's a calling to, to be with the people, to be with their, uh, where they're at, and especially here at St. Leo's, for me, it would be the immigration uh, population. It really is a place of welcome for them and um, they can come and they can talk to us and they can be with us, they can pray with us. There was, uh, I think, eight years ago I came to, to this church uh, find, trying to find out uh, like life change, you know. They opened the doors for us, too, for the community, the Hispanic community. You know? welcome to us and that's it's, it's what we give thanks to God too because uh, they are good people especially Father Jim and uh, like we are feeling like a family here. More of the people here are renters than owners so it's like hey I don't own this so you know it, it may not matter as much so just trying to change that outlook for some people. And, and I think the neighborhood is a safe place. I think there's a lot of goodness in it. The people are in wonderful. The band still does happen and when it happens it's usually really serious, you know, and it's really a, kind of tragic. But well, we're still proud of our community. Everybody wants to stay here. We go after grants and everything to try to do more for our community and more for our families in here.